<laughs> Hello and welcome to yoga. We're going to do a bit of a stronger practice, just a 20 minute practice, um, either to start your day or whether you're doing this halfway through your day or even in the evening, if you just fancy a little bit of a more powerful sort of flow. Um, we'll still do some really nice deep stretches as we go. So if you'd like to start at the top of the mat, come in to place your feet together. Your heels can be ever so slightly apart, toes together. Roll back through your shoulders, sitting up, uh, standing up nice and tall, length all the way down your spine, all the way up through the crown of your head. The palms of your hands can face the front of the room. Come in to find your breath. You can close through the eyes here if you like. Find a few moments of stillness. Inhale, we're gonna sweep our fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Hanging heavy here in your forward fold, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Draw your fingers up your shins, pinch your shoulder blades together, energy out through the crown of your head all the way out down towards your sit bones. And then maybe just try and get the weight into the balls of your feet ever so slightly and just feel the difference in your hamstrings as you do that, maybe even through your calf muscles. Exhale, forward fold. Separate your feet about hip distance apart. Hanging heavy still in your forward fold. Taking hold of one elbow and then the other with the opposite hands. And we're gonna circle, big circle up to the left hand side. Coming through a nice little lean over towards the left and inhale all the way up, bringing your hands above your head. And then as you exhale, you're going to come all the way down the other side, going through a nice lean on the right side before hanging heavy in a forward fold. And then inhale, draw the arms up towards the right side this time. I'm going to call these sunflowers, big sunflower all the way up. And then exhale, coming all the way down the other side. Releasing the grip on your elbows and then inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands on the floor, step back to a downward facing dog. You can start to walk through one foot and then the other here if you like, drawing one heel down towards the ground and then the other, making sure your sit bones are lifted up towards the ceiling. Really pushing the floor away with your hands. All ten fingers grounded into the mat. Bend your knees, inhale, look towards your hands and you're going to step your left leg up towards the top of the mat. If, you've, if it only gets halfway and you need to help it through with a hand, that's absolutely fine. You're going to drop your back knee down onto the mat. If you need to roll out your mat here, roll up your mat, maybe pad out your knee with a pillow or a cushion, you're more than welcome to. Inhale, float your hands up towards the ceiling. As you squeeze through your glutes, and imagine you're zipping up through the front of your pelvis here, drawing the hip bones up. Big inhale, and then exhale, float the hands either side of the front foot, step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend both knees, look towards your hands, and step your right foot through this time into a nice low lunge at the top of the mat. Place your back knee down onto the mat. Inhale the hands up, sweep them up to the ceiling. Zip up through the front of your pelvis. Squeeze through your glutes. Engage your abdominals. And then float your hands either side of your front foot. Step back to a downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, bend both knees, look towards your hands and make your way to the top of the mat. Whether that's a few steps, one step and then another, or even you can jump to the top of the mat. Again, have your feet about hip distance apart here. Inhale, draw your fingers up your shins if you, as you find a halfway lift. Weight into the balls of your feet. Yeah, exhale, forward fold. Grab hold of opposite elbows and we're going to inhale, drawing up the left hand side. Big sunflower all the way up. Exhale, sunflower down the other side. 
Hang your head heavy at the bottom before you inhale and come all the way up the right side. Big inhale. And then exhale down the left. Find once again your halfway lift. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Rolling all the way up, sweeping your hands above your head, coming to extended mountain pose. And then straight away, you can either dive forward or rolling all the way back down into your forward fold. Halfway lift on an inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, bend both knees, look towards your hands. You're going to step your left leg up towards the top of the mat. This time, keep your back knee off the off the ground so you're coming into a lunge with the back leg lifted inhale float the hands up into a nice high lunge facing the top of the mat on an exhale you're going to open up into warrior two big shift in your hips here so they're now facing the long side of the mat drop down a little bit more into this front leg yeah track the front knee open using your glutes to do this so your knee isn't caving in it's really opening up. Lovely, inhale, reach the left arm forward, flip the grip, flip the hands that's facing the ceiling, the palm of the hand, and then reach back into a sun warrior. Lovely to stretch all the way down the left side of the body. Exhale, find your warrior two. Inhale, find once again your high lunge facing the top of the mat. Exhale, find goddess squat this time, facing the side of the mat again. Big squat here. Both knees tracking open this time, squeezing through your glutes. You really should start to feel this now in your glutes. Lovely. Inhale, face the back of the mat this time, pivoting on your left foot. So you're on the ball of the foot of your left foot. Lovely. Exhale, find again your goddess squat. Inhale. This time facing the front of the mat, find your high lunge, drive back through that back heel. Exhale, goddess squat. Inhale, back of the mat. And then goddess squat one more time, lovely. Here, really push your hands in towards each other. Sitting back, sitting down into your goddess squat. Oh, you really should start to feel this now. You're going to inhale and just lift one heel up off the mat. Staying low in your goddess squat. Drop that heel back down and lift the other heel. Whoo, yeah. <laughs> I can feel this. Drop that heel. Can you lift both heels? Beautiful. Big breath in. And then breath out. Drop them down. Lengthen up through the back of the legs. Straighten out your legs. And then you can pivot your toes in towards each other if you like, or just have your feet parallel with the top and bottom of your mat. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and then inhale your arms up as you exhale and float forward, hinging at your hips, coming into a forward fold, a wide leg forward fold here. Maybe you might want to make a few adjustments here in this pose. Maybe you like to take your legs a little bit wider. Maybe you'd like to invite a knee bend. And then as we did in our halfway lift, maybe just play around with your weight here. And maybe you want to draw your weight into the balls of your feet a little bit more. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe you want to take it back, have it a little bit more even. <laughs> Inhale, we're going to roll up and again find our goddess squat. So turn your toes out. Find your goddess squat. Yeah, lovely. And then face the front of the room, coming back into your high lunge. Exhale, reach the hands forwards. So you're kind of coming diagonally with your body all the way from your fingertips down towards your heel. And then keep reaching your fingers forward as you just float your back leg up off the mat, coming to a capital T position, a warrior three. Beautiful, on inhale, draw that knee in towards your chest as you come to stand in Tadasana with the right knee lifted. Lovely, exhale, can you find again your warrior three? You can take your hands out or behind you, whatever you prefer, and then either point or flex through that lifted leg, one or the other. Inhale again to your ooh, Tadasana, little wobble, bring your knee to your chest. 
and then exhale. This time you're gonna dive all the way forward as you send your leg back and find a standing split. Drop your hands down towards the mat and find a standing split. Keeping your hips um, kind of neutral so they're not opening up. So your knee on your lifted leg is pointing down towards the mat. And this is your split pose. <laughs> You might find that actually you can do splits when gravity is helping you. But in this pose, you're kind of working against gravity. So it's a little bit harder. Oh, hold for another big breath in. You should really start to feel this in your standing leg. And then exhale, bring that foot the other side of your left foot. And then just give your legs a little bit of a wiggle here. Oh, forward fold. Hang heavy here in this forward fold. On an inhale, you're going to find a halfway lift. Exhale, coming back down, grabbing hold of one elbow and then the other. You're going to inhale and sunflower up one side. Exhale, sunflower down the other. Inhale, coming up the other side. Ooh. And then exhale down the other. One, one of your legs might be feeling a little bit more loved than the other at the moment. Inhale, find your halfway lift. And then exhale, plant your hands, step your legs back into a downward facing dog. Oh, we did all that on one side. We probably should even ourselves out a little bit. <laughs> Bend your knees, look towards your hands. You're going to step your right leg through this time into a lunge. Driving back through the left heel, engage your core as you reach your fingers up towards the ceiling, squeeze through your glutes, engage your glutes, zipping up through the front of your pelvis, so we're not collapsing in our lower back here, really keeping a nice neutral spine here. And then opening up into a warrior two, so track that right knee open, big breath in. Big breath out. Can you sink a little lower? Oh yeah, keeping the pinky side edge of the left foot grounded so you're not collapsing into the heel. Lovely. Flip the palm up to the ceiling of your right hand. Reach it forward and then exhale. Reach the fingertips back as you feel this beautiful stretch all the way down the right side of your body. Relaxing through the neck. Lovely, on an exhale you can find again your warrior two. And then inhale, high lunge, facing the top of the mat. Exhale, find your goddess squat, squeezing through your glutes, track your knees open. Inhale, find your high lunge, facing the back of the mat. Exhale, goddess squat. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale. One more time towards the back. Inhale, high lunge. Dry through with that back heel. Exhale. Stay here in your goddess squat. Ooh, get comfy in this pose. As comfy as possible anyway. Really squeeze, engage through your glutes. Track your knees open. Roll your shoulders back. Try not to stick your bum out. It's going down. Lovely. Lift one heel and drop it. And lift the other. And then drop it, push your hands together, push the soles of your hands together, the palms of your hands, and now lift both heels up. Can you sink down a little bit more? Ooh, drop your heels. Beautiful. Lengthen up through the back of the legs, straighten out your legs, pigeon toe your feet, or just have them parallel with the front and back of your mat. Inhale, float the hands up towards the ceiling, and then hinging forwards at your hips, coming all the way down into a forward fold. Big breath in, big breath out. You're going to place your right hand just underneath your, your face, keeping low in your forward fold, but then just reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. Nice little twist here. Exhale, float that hand back down and just swap hands, reaching the other one up, twisting. Yeah, nice, float that hand back down again. Inhale, rolling up, and then find again your god goddess squat. Bring your hands to heart center on the exhale. Lovely. Straight away, find your high lunge facing the front of your mat. Drive back with your heel. 
Really grounding down into your right foot. Beautiful. Exhale, float your hands forward, coming to a nice diagonal position. And then keep reaching forward with your fingers as you float that back leg up off the mat. Lovely. Nice capital T position here in your mat, keeping your hips nice and um, linear so they're not opening up. Ooh, they're nice and neutral. It'll feel a bit intense. We're gonna inhale, bring the knee to the chest as you find your one leg Tadasana. Exhale, send that leg back out again into warrior three. Point or flex through that foot. Lovely, inhale, bring it back into knee to chest. Lovely, this time floating the hands all the way down, diving forward with your chest, send that leg back up, this time into a standing split. Wowzers. <laughs> Not opening up with your hip here, so your knee is still pointing down towards the mat, but really find length through that leg, really point it up and away from you. Use your hands here for balance. If you're nailing this and you may, might want to grab hold of your front ankle with one hand and the other and draw your body closer to it, that's quite intense. <laughs> hold for another breath in. And then exhale, bring that leg down, bring the foot down onto the mat. Give your hips a little wiggle, a little twerk. <laughs> inhale, find a halfway lift. And this time, exhale, sit your bum down onto the mat. We've done the hard work. Reach, lifting your sit bones up from underneath you. Inhale, your fingertips towards the sky. And then exhale, fold over your legs here. Flexing your feet back, your toes back towards your face. Relaxing through the back of the neck. Big breath in. Long exhale out. Breathe in and just rolling all the way up to seated. You're going to come to a cross-legged position. Roll the shoulders down and away from you. Reaching the right fingertips up towards the sky. And then just walk your left fingertips away from you as you reach your right fingertips over your head towards one side of the room. You can bring your forearm down onto the mat if you like. Really push into that hand and reach those fingertips away. You'll feel a beautiful kind of pull and stretch. Coming back up and then just switching um, your legs. So if you're sitting in a cross-legged leg position, just taking the other leg forward. Might feel a bit weird, but we're, we're all good here. Inhale, lift the left fingertips up towards the sky. And then walk the right fingertips away from you. You can bring that forearm down if you like. <sighs> Lovely. Reaching the right fingertips, sorry, the left fingertips, and then pushing into the right hand. Yeah. Inhale, coming back up. We're going to scooch around and come to lie down on the mat. Rolling all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a good squeeze in here. Give them a good hug. Finding length all the way down your back. Resting the back of your head onto the mat. If you find that maybe more of your, your chin is lifted up and maybe the crown of your head is down onto the mat, I really want to encourage you to kind of almost give yourself a double chin and try and find length through the back of the neck. So your neck isn't in this kind of curved position here. It's trying to find a nice lot of length. I mean, obviously there'll be a, a gap because, um, you know, the shape of your head, but <laughs> try and give yourself a little double chin that will start to strengthen the muscles in your neck for more of that time spent gazing up at the TV or up at a desk or even gazing down towards your phone. We need to strengthen through these muscles in our neck. Maybe in this full wind pose, you want to add a few little circles with the knee one way. If it's nice and comfortable on your back. If it doesn't feel good, then don't do it. And then circle the other way. To me, it feels like a little bit of a massage 
But if it's not feeling like that, maybe, maybe you've got a bone in your back, then don't do it. Really lovely. We're going to find happy baby pose. So taking your knees a little bit wider, keeping the knees bent, but taking the soles of the feet to point up towards the ceiling. And then you can either grab hold of your thighs or your ankle, or even maybe you want to take your feet. You can take the inside or an outside grip, whichever you prefer. And then you can rock around here in this happy baby pose. Again, if it's comfortable, it tends to be when your back is completely flat on the floor. If you're more like this, then you might need to encourage your lower back and maybe your bum down onto the mat before you start rocking around like a happy baby. Taking some good deep breaths here. Maybe you want to straighten out one leg and then the other. Finding a little bit of stillness. Bring your knees back into your chest, give them a hug, and then just rock them over to the right side of the mat, reaching the left hand up towards the ceiling, and then opening it out, dropping the arm down towards the right, left side of the mat. <laughs> Nice little twist. You can gaze towards your left hand if you like. Inhale, coming back up to centre. And you're going to rock your knees over towards the left side of the mat this time, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky and then out towards the right side. Oh, you can gaze towards those fingers if you like. You might find a few clicks in your back in this position. Big belly breaths. And then inhale, coming back to, to centre. And we're going to find our own version of Shavasana, of our final resting pose. So whether you like to do Shavasana with your legs nice and long on the mat, with your legs falling out open, feet falling open, arms by the side of you, palms facing up, relaxing your shoulders down onto the mat, relaxing your hips into the mat. This might feel very sticky. Maybe your back is a little niggly. Your lower back might find this a little bit too intense. If that's you, then just bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet onto the mat instead. And you can just knock your knees together here. And it should relieve a little bit of tension that you may have been feeling in your lower back. Taking a few big breaths in here. You allow your body to fully relax. a few breaths here. I really encourage you to try and relax every muscle in your body. Any tension you might be holding in your shoulders or your arms, in your hips, your glutes, your legs, maybe even in your fingers or your toes. Allow yourself to be Fully relaxed, let go of anything you're holding on to. 
muscles in your face, in your jaw, your eyebrows, your eyelids, even your tongue and mouth. Allow yourself to relax. inhale you're just going to bring a little bit of movement into your fingers and your toes maybe opening and closing them maybe just giving them a little wiggle and then maybe lengthen one leg away from you followed by the other reaching your fingers and hands up onto the ground behind your head giving yourself a big yawn here all the way from your toes to your fingers then you're going to curl up onto one side into a little fetal position, allowing yourself to just reset here, allowing yourself to just relax for one more moment before we start to push ourselves up into a seated position on our mat. You can have uh, your seated position with your legs crossed if that's comfortable for you or you can come to sit on your knees or maybe even with your legs out long in front of you. Placing the palm, your hands on your knees or your thighs with your palms facing upwards. We're just going to do three breaths to close the practice today. So exhaling everything from your lungs. Taking a dip, big deep breath in. Exhale. Big breath in. Breath out. This time float your hands above your head as you inhale. Bring your hands to touch. Bring them through to heart center on your exhale. Gazing down towards your fingertips. And thanking yourself for committing to practice today. I hope to see you online again soon. Namaste.